We have five kids who have studied here at ABC. Um, three of them graduated, two just did a um, one year of Bible college. And we as a couple had always made it, uh, told our kids from when the time they were little that they were going to do at least one year of Bible college. And we um, allowed them to choose where they were going to go. Elizabeth, our oldest, chose ABC because she um, appreciated the spirit that was on campus when she visited. And then all of our kids just kind of have followed there. Interestingly enough, our third born chose ABC because she went to a chapel meeting with just a class of the seniors that were deciding on their senior trip. And she was so impressed with the unity and the way the kids interacted and how they encouraged each other. And it was a very um, deciding factor for her to attend Appalachian Bible College. I, I would additionally say to that that uh, we both attended another Bible college. And so making a decision to send your child to something that was not your alma mater was a little hard um, because it kind of felt like that would be the expectation. And I actually came back from Brazil with Elizabeth to visit our college that we graduated from and um, ABC, and we just felt like the ministerial focus here um, was way greater. And so after visiting the two, it was pretty obvious which one she wanted to study at. Two of our daughters were RAs. Um, I was the opportunity to interact and be a leader on a floor was a tremendous. I saw my girls just blossom in their leadership skills. It was just amazing. Um, two of them have found their spouses here. And um, it's been exciting to see how God being under the chapels um, and hearing God work in their lives and um, just the, the maturity in Christ it, has grown. I know that's very general, very vague, but just watching them hear about God's Word, um, coming up with personal applications of how that affects their lives and watching their growth is very, very exciting for us. And I would say additionally for our family, looking for a place that they could get their feet wet, that we knew that there would be some protective bounds was helpful, uh, especially with our children and other kids coming from Brazil and then adjusting to a new culture, a third culture for them here in the U.S. Um, I like that there were, some, there were some guidelines around and people that we knew loved them that would help them through some of those uh, maturing decisions that they were gonna face. Every year the staff members take two or three students and pray for them, look for opportunities to interact with them. I was always amazed the kids would say, oh, by the way, we were at the, Peterson's house tonight, or um, these people had us over for dinner. Um, I just was amazed at how the staff gets involved in the kids' lives. It's not the staff is here and the students are here. Um, they're involved in just day-to-day -day life and include them outside of the classroom as well. And I saw tremendous growth because of that as well. In my role of recruiting um, Christian workers to go work internationally. There are characteristics that I'm looking for. And what I found is they're the same characteristics that I want to see developed in my own kids' lives, but also characteristics that I desire for their spouses, that I want to see that influence in their life. And so as I'm recruiting, there it's really narrowed down to a couple of schools, Navy C's in the midst of that. And the reason is the one, the worldview, the Christian worldview of just seeing um, how that affects every decision, but also schools that um, have the consistent hermeneutic, which is interpretation of Bible, and how ABC approaches that um, is very unique because there are a lot of Christian colleges that the kids would not get that same focus of this is how we approach God's Word to be able to understand how it was intended. And so that makes a big difference for us in recruiting. Um, it, I know it probably sounds cliche around here, the life is for service, but we have actually talked as a couple many times about the little towel that they give at graduation and saying, hey, we need to remind that person of the towel they got, that, hey, they're here to serve, or it's obvious that this person learned that lesson. So those are the type of things that I think we really look for as a mission, but we also appreciate seeing developed in our own kids. Our choice of a Bible college for our kids was very intentional because of the move going from 
here's what my parents have told us we believe to the kids finally saying, okay, we're making this our own and we're believing it. Um, and so the intentional choice of a Bible college ended up being an intentional choice of ABC because of the, the mind frame here of preparing the kids for ministry, of pointing the kids to the Word of God and their decision-making process. And so for me, just as recruiting here is intentional, uh, the desire for my kids to be here is intentional. For sure, the verse that we as a family many times go back to that's um, the great song, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, comes through is from Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. And I'm so thankful for God's faithfulness that has allowed us to raise seven kids, almost raise seven kids. And I'm very thankful for ABC's influence in their life and the re constant reminder that it all goes back to God. And even as our kids have been out of college now and they're starting their ministries, that's a verse that I am constantly reminding them as they face challenges in the ministry that God is faithful and he will do it.